How's the apartment market doing in Salt Lake City? Well, it depends in part on which side of I-15 you're on. Welcome to Apart Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons with your update from Salt Lake City. After a very strong performance in first quarter 2010, things slowed down a little bit in Salt Lake City's apartment market. Overall occupancy is now at 94.1%. That's down a slight 0.1 percentage point in 2Q, but still up 0.8 percentage points annually. And rental rates, after some improvement in 1Q, they're down a little bit in 2Q as well. Down 0.3% in year-over-year, same-store rental rates declined 3.3%. And looking at Salt Lake City submarkets, we have some real hits and misses. Starting in central Salt Lake City, which is the downtown university area, overall occupancy here is pretty strong, 95.5%. That is up 0.3 points in 2Q and up 0.9 points in the year ending June. And rental rates have improved in three of the past four quarters on a quarterly basis. Same store rental rates inched up 0.2% in 2Q, and they are up a metro best 4.1% in the past year. Another area performing very well of late is just north of here, the Layton Davis County area, uh, where occupancy is up to a very impressive 97.3% and same store rental rates climbed 1.7% year over year. On the other side of Interstate 15, things aren't doing nearly as well. The two submarkets here, Southwest Salt Lake City and also the West Valley City Airport area, these two submarkets were the only two to record occupancy declines in both second quarter and in the year ending June. Both of these submarkets have occupancy rates below the metro norm, and both of these areas saw significant rent cuts in the past year. Starting with Southwest Salt Lake City, which includes the Taylorsville, West Jordan, South Jordan area, occupancy here is at 92.9% at the midpoint of 2010. That's down 0.8 points in 2Q and down 0.5 points annually. Rents did climb 1.2% in second quarter, but on an annual basis, rents remain down a metro worst 5.7% because of very deep cuts in the second half of 2009. And right next door in the West Valley City Airport area, occupancy is now at 93.2%. That's down 1 point in 2Q and down 0.9 points annually. And looking at rental rates, also down, down 1.1% in the same store sample in the second quarter and down 2.9% in the year ending June. And going forward, looking at the Salt Lake City Metro overall, this is a pretty interesting one to watch because while most parts of the country saw multifamily permitting activity slow down in 2009, Permits hit near record levels in that year in Salt Lake City, and a lot of those approved units are now under construction as apartment projects, so it'll be interesting to see how those projects fare going forward. And that wraps us up for today, so until next time, for Apart Market Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's Apartment Market Reports from a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, MPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.